Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders and YouTube for another weekly mid-trading recap for you guys. We're going to be going over some of the trades we've taken on the micros, S&P 500, and also gold. Again, we got we do this for you guys. That way we can show the transparency of the trades that we've taken, show you guys how you can take a small account and build it into a significant amount and continue to withdraw each and every month from that account. Again, we try to keep it simple here, make sure we're not trading too much strategies, just applying ourselves to one strategy at a time in these markets and showing you how we can be consistent in doing that and be confident in our trades that we've taken so again if you guys do like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe if you guys have any questions feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys again we do this each and every week so you guys can see the trades that we've taken on the small account here and we usually trade off of s p 500 and also gold so with that in mind guys let's go ahead and hop into it let's take a look at the bigger picture first here on s p 500 we have moved back up to the upside seeing that we've been trying to throughout the week so far as we come into the midweek we've topped out somewhere right around these 4405 to 4406s as a level of resistance and then fell right back down so if you guys have not watched those market analysis videos highly recommended you guys do especially before you guys trade give you guys some trade areas to look for where you're going to find those supports or those resistances coming in uh, but right now we're going to be looking for s p 500 to catch the support 43 80 75 and then maybe make its way right back up to the upside but with that guys let's go ahead and hop into some of the trades that we actually took this week so all right, so as we pull up this chart here for the Micros S&P 500, uh, two trades that we spotted out here on the 27th. We didn't take anything on the 26th on the small account, uh, more so trading on the bigger one. But here on the 27th, we had an opportunity that was coming in here, 43.78.25. Uh, got it up only for one tick notice we were in just a little bit early uh, so only took a tick off of that then we had another long opportunity right off our support you can see support for me came in right around these 7350s and we got a nice bounce here and then we pushed it back up into these 4380s uh, so 4375 75 into about 4380 very nice long opportunity you can see we probably could have took another long right off this bounce here uh, that could happen right there for a move back to the upside again um, as it was gradually trying to pull down but it's okay i uh, got a good long opportunity here that was enough uh, for that area let's take a look if we have any more so for s p 500 some more a little bit of trades here that we got we had a long opportunity here 43.88.25 into 43.90.25 you can see some other opportunities we had here 43.87 uh, long 43.87 even again another long position and then 43.86.75 so you can see we got it up 43.87.75 is where we took off those three positions long so still a nice profitable trade there off micro level here for a bounce to the upside wanted to see it push up further but it didn't necessarily get there started to pull down a little bit deeper from here but still you can see the opportunities taken uh, because that was into our setup as we saw the bounces coming in and the support happening there at that micro level let's mo move over here to the right hand side see if we have any more trades here that was on the 27th see if we have anything here on the smaller account we did get one more trade here which was a short opportunity you can see these 43.98.75s had a nice double top here on this <clears throat> on this uh resistance 44.05 uh, right below that level and then we started to pull a little bit down so 43.98.75 market then started to move down two points took off 43.96.75 and the market still continued even lower from there so it was a, it was a nice trade would have loved to get it back up over here on the smaller account but didn't get the opportunity so try to take it a little bit lower to pull down a little bit deeper somewhere right around here but that sums it up so far of what we did on s p really didn't take too much trades for this week on s p 500 but let's go ahead and move over to gold take a look at what's going on here on gold as well all right so moving over here to gold for you guys give you guys a bigger picture view first we did top out here at the resistance here at 18 15.9 we were moving down a little bit we went into a range for the week so far we had that support coming in right around these 92 to 94s we did get it as low as about 91 even and we pop right back up and you can see the market climbed and continued to climb even higher 18 15.9 is our level of resistance right now and we're looking to see if the market can actually stall here 
and get that nice pullback back to the downside somewhere around here or maybe down here for a push back up so if you again if you guys have not watched that market analysis video um, please go ahead and do highly recommended that you guys take a look at some of the levels that we're looking to play off of during the London session but let's go ahead and move over into some of the trades we took so far here on gold this week as well so moving this over here a couple things we want to point out here on gold is that we have a couple of trades that we did take here move this over a little bit 1805.8 you can see on the 27th didn't take anything on the 26th again didn't really trade this small account but on the 27th 1805.8 um, we did get that nice move back to the upside held our support right down at this level here got that nice pop right back to the upside 1806.5 so it was a good trading opportunity and you can see we took some long opportunities right between these levels as the market came down to the support again this morning some great long opportunities you can see 1794.7 you can see 95.5 93.4 uh, 94.7 94.9 and 95.2 you can see we took a lot of good profits off of these areas as it came down to support i think we only got stopped on one of the areas which was i believe right around these maybe 94.7s as the market came a little bit deeper uh, somewhere run around these 1794.1s uh, that we got taken out. But other than that, everything popped up nicely. 1796.2, 95.4, 95.4, 4, 95.6. So we got a couple ticks off of a lot of them. This was a good trading opportunity that we had, uh, not just on the smaller account, but also on the bigger account, uh, where we had a nice long run back into those 18 hundreds on the long side so that was a great opportunity but it did take some time to get there as we were sitting in there for at least almost a good 45 minutes in this trade long uh, trying to hold it to the upside so it was a good opportunity for trading um, but you can see we took a couple trades here on the smaller account which was profitable only one that was a loser there but we'll show it here for you guys to see popping up here but before we do that you can see one of the trades wanted to just kind of point this out we got a trade looking for the short from the market analysis that we put on there uh, right up against that resistance let me pull this over just a little bit so you guys can see what's going on Give you guys an insight into what's actually happening so we got one two three four uh rejections right off this level and we are looking for this market to collapse a little bit lower so i'm okay you can see we got a two to one risk we got a two point stop here four point take profit is what we're looking for somewhere right around this area so we'll see if the market can actually collapse may stall a little bit before that 1811 so if it does start to get a nice bounce we may end up taking a little bit of profit but that's what we're looking for right now that's going to be our trade idea as we're looking for the short trying to get a little bit of a further run here on that two to one risk there but let's take a look at what we are looking at this week so far again didn't take too much trades but just being transparent on a lot of the trades that we took so far here on s p so you can see pretty green so far we have two losing trades here again both of those losing trades i believe are on gold yeah so we actually had two losing trades here loss for six dollars 98 cents and the other loss for a dollar 98 cents everything else was winning trades scrolling down so far profitable for midweek 72.98 um, is what we got in profits um, after commission costs. You can see we had $86, but after commissions, we're down to about $72.98 in profit so far for midweek. All right, scrolling down here, you can see total number of trades 13, total number of winning trades 11, total number of losing trades 2, trade win rate 85%, trade lose rate 15%. So doing very, very well. Average winning trade $8.45. Average losing trade, $3.50. Largest winning trade, $21.25. Largest losing trade, $6. So again, we had a starting balance this week of $9.85.54. Really wanted to end the week last week somewhere around 1000 but came a little bit shy of that. Didn't want to try to push it too much. But not so bad. Again, closing pro uh, position profit and loss midweek $72.98 so our account balance sits at about 1058.35 we'll see if we can get this to about 11 maybe $1200 try to get it to about $1500 this week but i believe we had a red week uh, a red midweek and then a closing of the green week and kind of focus more on performance as we had a little bit more losing trades than we wanted to for the month but again still profitable so far for the month uh, trying to reach maybe about 11 to 1200 
uh, this week so we can close out the month at right around that area but again I will still probably be looking to close out at 1500 even if we travel into August look to close the account at 1500 and then start to take away from there and then bring it back down and then redo this for you guys but again uh, just showing you guys exactly what you you know what we explained on our charts earlier we have two losing trades and majority of them are winning trades so again we are 85% win rate 15% losing rate and a good amount of profit so far for the midweek so we're going to try to continue to perform well again guys uh, the way we say this is keep it simple in trading try not to apply yourself for too much approaches in trading as you're trying to trade each and every session every single day try to become confident in building um, one strategy at a time and finding the confidence in trading that strategy as it you know it appears on the chart or as you see it as a trade idea comes about within the market structure but again if you guys do like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe any questions you guys got feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys again though if you guys are looking to find consistency in trading if you're struggling Feel free to pop into Peer Structure Trading. We would love to help you guys out. Become a member with us. Take some coaching sessions. Uh, take a coaching program with us. We would love to help you find consistency and success in trading. Now, if you guys continue to trade, make sure you guys trade well. Make sure you guys trade with patience, discipline. And make sure you guys are not overdoing it as you guys trade. You guys take care. You guys have a great night. Bye.